Hello, I'm Joshua Brown from Queen Mary University of London, and I'm going to talk to you about a soft haptic device that uses particle jamming to present tactile vibrations. Particle jamming is a physical effect that takes place when small granules of material like seeds or sand are compacted together, creating a stiff structure that is much harder and more viscous than the material in its fluidic state. This controllable stiffness has already been used to create tactile displays based on variable stiffness cells and soft robotic grippers that mould themselves around objects to be manipulated. To explore how this concept could be applied to vibrotactile devices, we created a test setup to use to experiment with different input parameters. This consists of a sealed box with a soft silicone cover, which housed an eccentric rotating mass type vibrating motor suspended in canoa seeds. This apparatus was then connected to a control unit allowing both the power supply to the motor and the negative air pressure inside the box to be altered. We hypothesized that increasing the vacuum pressure and thus jamming the particles together more strongly would restrict the movement of the motor, decreasing the amplitude of vibrations transferred to the tactile pad. As you can see, the device not only uses particle jamming to control vibration, but also hardness and softness and texture intensity, as well as being able to use positive air pressure to change shape. We conducted experiments to characterize the device's response to electropneumatic control. That's independent control of the vacuum pressure in the electrical motor power and mechanical interactions with the user's fingertip under different amounts of force. These are the key physical relationships that will inform the system model and control the design. A very small MEMS accelerometer was used to record the vibration produced by the device throughout all the experiments. The first result we looked at was the effect of vacuum pressure, and therefore the particle jamming effect, on vibration output. We found that increasing vacuum pressure and stiffening the particles led to a reduction in amplitude, which levelled off at about minus 10 kilopascals. There was a slight variation in vibration frequency, but this was generally consistent across the full pressure range. We then analysed the effect of motor power. This had an exponential effect on amplitude, but only under low vacuum. Frequency was affected approximately linearly under all pressure levels. The vibrations recorded under fingertip pressure revealed very similar effects to air pressure in terms of frequency, amplitude and shape. This suggests that the mechanical interaction could be actuating the jamming effect, which can be easily adjusted for in the controller. The result also suggests that there may be mechanical alternatives to heavy and expensive pneumatic systems in the future design of devices based on particle jamming. So where do we go from here? Firstly, a closed loop controller needs to be implemented. After this, the technology can be integrated into interactive devices such as joysticks, gloves and VR controllers, and the pneumatic control system will be miniaturised. Psychophysical studies will also be conducted into the effect of particle jamming on surface texture and users' perception of vibration intensity.